Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and get you. good day to all. So today I'm going to share with you how we do material balance for bypass and a cycle. So we have actually gone through several session on how to perform mass balance for example like on distillation column on the absorption and adsorption as well as for multiple units where i have given an example before on how to perform mass balance for multiple distillation column but now if let's say we have a case where actually there is an input okay there is an input and then um, there is a certain like a bypass okay a bypass instead of it goes through the unit operation now it goes to bypass or we have another case where actually we have here another input okay but instead the output from here it is being recycled okay so in both case when we want to solve this problem okay so this is bypass and this is recycle so in both case what is important for us to solve this material balance is to understand the concept of mixing point as well as the splitting point so in this case where actually we have the bypass this is what we call as splitting point So splitting point. So similarly, in this case, this is also considered as splitting point. So this is the same, which is splitting point. And in this, uh, another point is what we call as the mixing point. So this is mixing point. Okay. Which is also similar with here when it is recycled. So both of these are considered as the mixing point. So we want to solve the problem with regards to material balance. Um, I would like to share with you an example on bypass. Okay. But the most important part is when there is a bypass. Okay. Enters an equip and a unit operation. And then there is a bypass. And then it makes again here. So you know that at this particular point. As well as this stream both of these streams actually have the same composition okay so for example like if let's say there is n1 entering here and then there is n2 and then this is n3 of course when you make the balance it is n1 equals to n2 plus n3 but the composition in n1 is actually the same as N2, as N3. Same composition. Okay. So that is one important thing that we have to bear in mind when we are actually trying to uh, do some kind of material balance for when it comes to involve to splitting points. So at every splitting points, whenever that you split a stream, it will actually give you the same composition for both streams. Even if you have three streams or four streams, when you split it out, it's going to have the same composition, but it will have definitely different mole flow rate. So we have to look at an example where actually there is a fresh orange juice problem, okay, where the fresh orange juice, uh, initially, it goes straight to evaporator. So this is N5. So when it goes to evaporator, they want to split out, separate the solid from the water. So they want to evaporate the water. So this is water goes out. Where I think I can put it as M3. And this is M1 where actually it has 0 0.12 kilogram solid. And here we have water at 0 0.88 kilogram water. 
uh, the specification when it uh, it goes out is it it needed 0.42 kilogram solid per kilogram with 0.58 kilogram water per kilogram okay so initially the design such that the fresh the fresh juice of the orange entering the evaporator and uh, the water being removed and then they collected 0.42 kilogram solid with 0.58 kilogram water per kilogram but the problem right now is some of the uh, some of the component which is um, some of the component which is volatile constituents of the juice left together with water here with M3 and it makes the situation worse because the the juice uh, whenever that they left evaporator it tastes a bit bitter it doesn't taste nice so the design is such a way that some of the some of the juice instead of entering evaporator it will leave as to be bypassed and meet again at this particular point where it will also similarly produce the same composition same component okay so so there is m2 here so there is m4 here so our task is actually to get to know what are the values of this overall in um, with the we need to perform the mass balance for this and then we need to know for example what would be the compositions of the products okay whenever that it leaves evaporator which is at m4 and then what will be the flow rate of all the flow that is entering for example what is the flow from m2 here that is entering evaporator and so on